Hey friends, it's Sabrina here and we obviously have something to talk about today. So this video is going to be about how I used hot tools on my hair and what I did and what I did to get this look. So first and foremost, it has been a little over a month of my curly girl journey with my hair being 100% natural. So not using any flat irons or curling irons or curling wands or anything on my hair. And my hair definitely feels way more healthy. And that's one really great benefit of just going all natural and not using a lot of heat on your hair all the time. So when we're talking about using hot tools on your hair and doing all of that damage to your hair all the time, that's where you're going to have a lot of dead ends. So today I had a photo session. I got some branding photography done and at first I was thinking about doing my hair the natural curly girl way when I was styling it yesterday. However, I didn't know how humid it was going to be. I wasn't aware of what the weather was going to be like the next day. And so I really wasn't comfortable, to be honest, with having my hair look frizzy or just not right in these photos because I want to use them for branding and for social media. And I wanted to make sure that my hair was flawless. So I'm a perfectionist in case if you don't know. And I used the hot tool. So what I do, and I'll just talk about briefly how I even style my hair and how long it takes. So when I am using hot tools, I still wash and deep condition and use the leave-in conditioner. And I also use a heat protectant. Right now I'm still using the Preparelli by Dry Bar heat protectant spray. So I still do all of the same types of after shower care on my hair. However, I let it air dry and I did not put any gel. I did not create a cast, anything like that. I actually let it air dry for majority of the way and then I blow dried it and I tried to make it as straight as possible. So with my roots, and we already know that that's a problem area that I have on my hair is my roots. They get really frizzy and it's really hard to control. So with my hair, what I do is I actually use a flat iron on my roots through about halfway down my hair. So that way it prevents the curls from getting big and it helps my hair stay frizz free. And then I slept on my hair. So I straighten it the night before and I make sure that my roots are flat. And I sleep on my silk pillowcase still, right? So I'm still protecting my hair. When I wake up, what I do next is I actually will use a curling wand on my hair. So I do very small layers and chunks to style my hair and my curls. And I use my curling wand at 410 degrees. That's the hottest the curling wand gets to. And I create very tight curls with that curling wand and I'll attach it below. I got it through Amazon. There's five different heads, curling heads that are all interchangeable. So it was like $40, $45 to be able to have five tools in one is really awesome. And what I do is I use the curling wand to curl all of my hair. So I do, you know, bottom up. I, I make sure that every single piece is curled. I let my hair cool and then I spray it with a little bit of hairspray to help hold that curl. So my hair, as you know, is very naturally curly. So when I wash it and blow dry it and use a straightener on it, you really can't tell that my hair is naturally curly at all. And then once I go in with the curling wand, it then creates that bigger curl, um, no frizz at all. And then once my hair is completely cooled down from the curling wand, that is when I flip my hair over and I run my fingers through my hair. So that way it creates the waves instead of creating the tight curls that I originally have in my hair after I'm done styling it. So this is the first time since I started my curly girl journey that I have used any heat on my hair other than a diffuser, which isn't really that much heat because I'm using it on cool or on warm. I'm not using it on the hot setting at all. 
so it is a little bit different on my hair. However, my hair feels very healthy. It feels extremely soft and I'm really happy with how the curls turned out. So for the photo session, I wanted to make sure that my hair was managed. I also didn't know how warm it was going to be in the room that we were doing the photos in with the lighting. So I wanted to make sure that my hair can stay at least somewhat under control for that situation before having to use all of my curly girl products to try to reduce that frizz and I love my hair naturally curly but with this whole situation of us being at home I've been able to have trial and errors with my hair however I have not found the tried and true method that my curls are going to last and look best in and so for me you know, I think that having the versatility to be able to wear my hair naturally curly and then also be able to wear my hair with a different style in it just makes it even more versatile, even more beautiful. And that kind of is just me. So when I had talked before about my curly journey, how I never wore my hair naturally curly before, it's because my hair typically looks something like this or completely straight. And my hair, when it's completely straight, it is completely straight, like pin straight. So I wanted to kind of show you on camera what it looks like when I take about an hour and a half to do my hair. And so blow drying and straightening the roots through about halfway through my hair takes about an hour between the blow drying and flat iron process. And then it takes about 20 to 25 minutes to do the curls and waves in my hair. So that is a long time of not even the washing and putting the products in and any of that. That is just the amount of heat and how long heat goes on my hair. And so giving my hair a break for the last month has been really great. And I've been finding some different products and different methods to be able to wear my natural curls. Like I said, however, right now I'm just not the most comfortable going out in public with my hair down and curly, especially in branding photo shoots that I'm going to be using all over the internet. And I want to make sure that I'm very comfortable with my hair and my hair. I think a lot of us can agree your hair is part of your personality. It's just part of who you are. And I'm very proud of my hair, whether it's natural or styled or not styled at all. I'm very proud of my hair. I love my hair. It is an extension of me and who I am. And I wanted to make sure that it just represented me the way I felt most comfortable. So I wanted to do this video just to give you a confession that, you know what, it's not going to be every single day that we wear our hair natural, but using those products have really helped make my hair stronger and have made my hair feel a lot healthier. And I'm really, really happy about that. So I wanted to do this video just to keep you updated on my curly journey. Right now I have styled my hair, used hot tools in my hair, and this is how it's going to be. It actually falls even nicer. So I did my hair this morning. It's been about five hours since I had used the curling wand. And so the next day and the next day, it just gets a nice light wave to it. And there's not really a lot of frizz because I use the flat iron at my root. And so that helps reduce the frizz that is at my root. If you are finding that you have a lot of frizz at your roots, Maybe you want to go in with a straightener before you go in with a curling wand. So that way, when you bring it all the way up top, your hair is straight on top and it doesn't uh, create that frizz and it really will help reduce that. So this is a little tip from me to you, but I, <laughs> I used a hot tool. I used multiple hot tools on my hair. I wanted to capture this and just show you guys that this is typically... This is typically me. This is typically the way that my hair is. It has waves and curls and up top it's more straight. And this is where I feel the most confident majority of the time. However, it definitely with my curls and finding the methods that work really nicely, it's definitely changing. My taste is changing and also the amount of time I save by styling my hair more naturally. I'm cutting my time in about half, if not a third, and I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with saving some time, even if it's 20 minutes to 30 minutes. Every single time you wash your hair, that really adds up. So I'm really enjoying the journey. However, 
I'm really happy with how my hair looks today and how those photos are going to turn out. I'm very happy with it. And so make sure that when you're on your journey that you do things that you want, whether you want to style your hair or just, you know what, put it up in a bun. That's okay too. Not every day is going to be a perfect hair day. And that's the beauty of it, that your, your hair is an extension of you, but it's not the definition of you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe so that way you can be on this curly journey with me. If you want to check out more videos, they are at the bottom and I will also have one of my recent videos attached at the end. You can click on this at the end of this video. If you have any questions or any recommendations for either hot tools or natural curly products, make sure you drop them in the comments below as well as any methods of styling and drying my curly hair. I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you in the next video. Bye.